Hello everyone, welcome to the engineering project here YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have changed profile setting UI and merged the razor code as you can see in the personal information and change avatar. Now we are going to isolate change password which is available here. But we will not interrupt this part. We will develop separately and then remove this one. Okay. So for that the logic is we need to check new password and retype password should be same only in that case we will change password else this password will be get hide we don't need the cancel button so search cancel and remove this button <coughs> here we have attached the id change password button with this and retype password and password we have also written the change event on retype password so whenever this password is changed we will match instead of change we need to use on key down or on key up we can use on key down but we are already using the own so we don't need this one we can only use key down here and it will get the password and then the confirm password and if both are same what we will do we will show this in else we will hide the button okay first we will hide the button refresh this and change password 1 2 3 and 3 it's it doesn't work in the console we have error yes found two element with the password so we need to change the id of password field which is this new password so we will copy this id and then trigger okay it is getting load now go to the bottom Here is the new password. Save and refresh once again. In the change password, let me remove this. One, two, three, one. Nothing happened. Two, three, and nothing happened. Let me add on key down a console here. so we will get to know it is working refresh this one two it is not working okay so simply we will find this is the input type let's search this id once again which is is document dot on key down and it is working absolutely fine let me add on that here and change password button and use control shift f5 to or control f5 to forcefully refresh the page once again now the whole page is refreshed add one it's not working let me copy this and add here a 
okay the id is not working so what we will do we will change the declaration and here instead of on we will directly use the key down by removing on and this whole like key down and the function and the rest of things are the same and hit enter and let's see and it's work so we need this one and the problem is solved now refresh once again and one two three one two three it is working oops let me inspect it once again it is working one is matching two is not matching three is not matching so why it is not matching let us check in the console we will use and let's see one two three one two and three and it is not matching yet because when I will press one see when I will press one it's trigger on key down this is key down and this is key and down and then it's trigger instead of this let's use key up so when I will release the button only then it will get trigger now visit change password one two three here is one here is two and here is three password match only then this will be appear in the rest of the case it will not appear if password is get change it will again check upon retype password so we have to add check on new password too so simply add same code or same event on both so when both get changed the password will automatically the change password button will be removed and now we will add a name for current password and in the next video we are going to create a API call which will check the current password is matched with the database password only then update the new password which is uh, same as retype password I hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects YouTube channel take care bye bye have fun